All right, here we are with the final video I'll include in this review. Um, this is lab six. We're doing a review of the concepts that we learned last week, and we are adding, beginning the lab six project. So just as a reminder, here's where we ended. And we have done steps one, two, three, and four. And now we're going to do step five. So that means make the links 66F, whether they are visited or not. Take the underline off and put a dotted border on instead of, instead, the same one we used for the H1. All right. So that's just what it should look like. And here is what it does look like. So it's a darker blue. It's a straight underline. And we're going to start. All right, let's go to the code. And the first thing I'm going to do is create my link selector. And I will simply add the same thing I did here. I could copy it. Copy and paste. Save and refresh. And now we can see that the border is on it. Um, yeah, all right. It just doesn't look like the same blue to me. I'm curious about that, but let me go back to step five. Yeah, see, that looks a little paler. Make the links 66F. Is that what I did? 66F, yes, all right. Um, oh, that's just the border, but it's not the text. So let me add the text color. 66F. Save and refresh. There it is. That looks much better. And now we're going to create a hover tag. So make the links turn the same color as the background. So we want to do the same thing we did, but we just want to do it in a hover tag. So remember, the hover tag is a pseudo class. So I'm going to type, uh, oh no, I don't want to be inside there. I do not. This is a new selector, a semicolon, no, colon, hover. And I'm just going to copy this, control C and control V, but I'm going to change the color to it's this red. Copy and paste. Oh. I lost my space there. And then same thing here. Paste, save, and refresh. So when I hover over it, yeah, that works great. So this completes the review of week five that helps you get started on the week six lab. See you in a bit.